Harbor Freight, I would consider uh, changing the specs on these tools. Um, you know, why raise up the hype? We have the Hercules 3 mode uh, drive, 20 volt lithium brushless, half an inch compact, three speed impact wrench with friction ring. This guy, uh, this is a new uh, tool, it just barely came out. Uh, don't forget to help out the channel by subscribing, hitting the like, hitting the bell icon so we can buy more tools like this. Make more to review videos, that's the way you YouTube rest the platform by subscribers and likes, so help out the channel by doing so. Also, I just want to give a big shout out to my man Tools on a Budget. Um, if it weren't for his channel, I would have known this was at the stores already. He already did a video on this half an inch and the 3 8 so be sure to check out his channel or his video after and subscribe to his channel so big shout out to him all right so yeah we got hcb84b uh it says brushless motor 40, 45 percent more runtime says two only battery and charges sold separately it says brushless 20 volt um says up to 555 pounds for breakaway torque you know what guys i don't know about this guys if you watch his i watch his video and um it it's i don't think it this is correct so uh harbor freight if you're watching this uh make sure you guys double check your foot pounds especially on your top level brand hercules and you guys will know if it does if if it barely does 250 uh 250 foot pounds of torque then chances are it's not going to do this we do have a three-speed selector we got powerful three-speed brushless motor provides 33 percent more torque up to 245 percent more runtime and durability the brush tool motors uh bright led light provides uh superior work visibilities you got a six inch length over 32 percent more fit in tight spaces lightweight design variable speed trigger for control and precision delicate work surface all metal gear construction with withstand job site uh, and I'm just guessing on the half of whatever's written here. You got three speed power select for precise uh, fastening in a wide uh, range of uh, Hercules 20 volt lithium delivers. Okay, got breakaway torque. Does, I can't read it, but it does say 555 pounds. It says mass fastening torque. So this is fastening, is the, the tightening torque. Uh, 322. My guess is probably closer to that. So, um, speed zero to 1000 on first speed on second speed is zero to 1700 third speed speed is zero to 2200 rpm got blows per or blows per minute you got uh, zero to 1300 and the zero to 2000 zero to 2400 bpm so you got weight 2.7 pounds overall length six inches All right, first thing out of the box, we got an instruction manual, and then you do have a belt clip. Uh, you got pretty much the rubber, nice rubber, all the way here. It does have you know resting points, as you would see. This is all black uh, metal casing. Uh, you got um, a friction ring there, Advil. Uh, you, it is half an inch. A nice trigger there. You got LED light. Um, bottom, you got uh, four connectors. It says Hercules brushless on the side here. Um, on this side, it says HCB84B. Uh, you got a serial number there. Hercules 20 volts, half an inch compact, three speed. Impact wrench, 0 to 2200 RPM. I have a lot of vents. If you guys see here, a lot of vents. Up here, you have some more vents. Same thing on this side, you got. It's two pounds, uh, 12.1 ounces. This is a two uh, and a half amp hour battery. It's actually kind of hard to put in there, but it's nothing out of the ordinary. You got three pounds, 11.9 ounces. All right, you got on this one, this one's a five amp hour battery. So we're gonna put a five amp hour battery here. All right, you got four pounds, 3.8 ounces. Um, I really like the way it stands, you know, with a little angle. 
you guys see it has a little angle towards the top so I really like the way um, that is uh, that is speed number three speed one speed two speed three So you are getting a lot of movement from air movement from here from the vents. That's the light that it comes with. It look, it's actually wider than what it looks like on the screen. We got a 29 millimeter socket. As you guys know, this is a pretty big socket. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, test this out. Let's test it in speed one. Speed two. Then speed three. About 100 pounds is what you would use on your normal vehicle. So 100 pounds. No problem. 150 pounds. So 152. And we're doing this with a two and a half amp hour battery. So 175 pounds. It did it, but it's struggling. So we're gonna go ahead and go up to 200 pounds and then we're gonna go from there. Go all the way to 250 pounds. This is maximum for this torque wrench. 250 pounds. Two hundred and fifty point four. All right. So we we know that it did uh, two hundred fifty pounds, two point five amp hour battery. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, tightening up speed one, speed two, and speed three, and then we're going to see how much it's tightening the bolts at. So we're gonna tighten it up in first speed, speed one. Speed one is 77.3, two. So speed two. Speed 2 is 141.8 So speed 3 Got 168.1 Alright, we got a 5 amp hour battery We got 146.4. So guys, what do you guys think about this tool? Um, I think it's a really nice tool. It works pretty good. I think it's not advertised correctly, as in the foot pounds. Um, as you guys did see, the maximum we reached was 168 tightening. Well, it didn't struggle uh, with the 250 pounds 
Um, I didn't see that it struggled with it, but um, I find it hard to believe that this thing can do 550 pounds. The tightening torque, um, it did not even get up to 200 pounds. Then you got 322 pounds tightening or fastening torque. So yeah guys, so it did not reach 322 pounds like I said right there. Uh, but it, I think overall I think this is a great tool for the DIY um, even for the profession I would Harbor Freight I would consider uh, changing the specs on these tools um, you know why raise up the hype you know that it's uh, 550 pounds just you know tell the truth basically and just uh, you know rate it as it is which is a decent tool it's a fairly decent tool even for the professional um, obviously if you got a nicer tool you don't want to bang it up you don't want to grease it up you know with oil and all that so you want something that you know you can pretty much beat up this is a great tool for that I'm pretty sure it'll last a long time and it is it's fairly decent uh, for the price and everything if you already got the batteries so definitely check it out um, uh, let me know down in the comment section what do you guys think about this tool would you buy it would you not buy it get to help out the channel by subscribing hitting the like hitting the bell icon so we can buy more tools like this, make more to review review videos. That's the way YouTube is a platform. My subscribers and likes, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching.